Oh, what's popping people today? It's Jack here, and I have got for you guys a sick video. As you all know, EA Access has recently came out for Xbox, and I have been banging out videos. I've already got two in the first day, guys. And before I do get into today's video, I just want to say a quick thank you for the support on last night's video. It is already on like 500 views. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. I like checked at like 10 o'clock in the morning when I was outside for my break at school. It's on 200 views. At the end of the day, it was on like 460. I honestly can't thank you guys enough. You guys are amazing. I love you all. And if you could smash that like button and the subscribe button, I'm actually going for 300 subs before the full release of FIFA 18, which is the 29th for the standard edition. Doesn't look like we're going to hit it, but hopefully, guys, if we can keep smashing out the content, we can do it. But nevertheless, you guys are not interested in that. As you can see on the screen, I'm showing my Xbox screen down there. And basically today, guys, you have clicked on this video because you want to know how to get unlimited hours on your EA Access. Now, no matter what happens, I've got two methods to show you guys. The first method is completely free, but the only problem with it is you can't go on Ultimate Team or Pro Clubs. Basically, you can't go online. You can play the Journey, you can play Career Mode, you can play Kickoff. It doesn't waste any of your hours, but the only catch is... You know, you can't play online. So it's a bit annoying, but considering you're getting unlimited hours, it's 110% worth it. The one thing you do need for this, though, guys, is a small amount of time left on your EA Access. So I would wait maybe till your account goes to under one hour and you sort of know it's nearly finished. I would do the free method then. And believe it or not, guys, I'm actually going to show you the free method first because it's the easiest one. It takes no effort whatsoever, guys. It is literally the easiest method ever. But the other method, guys, before I do actually show that, the other method, you do need to pay another £4 for EA Access on a separate account, but you can actually transfer those hours over to your main account. So say I've already used up my 10 hours on my main account, which is XXX space Jack with two A's space two, if you want to go add me. Uh, say I wanted to transfer my hours from a second EA Access account over to my main one. With this method, I can actually do that. It is madness, guys. But guys, I'm going to show you the free method first so all you need to do guys is click on FIFA 18 as you can see you'll be loading into the menus I have what less than six hours left you play the trial as you normally would and then we're just gonna wait for the game to load up guys just load it up as you usually would load up the game so here we go guys as you can see on the screen we are connecting to the EA servers don't do anything yet just keep loading up your game and this is why guys you actually need like the half an hour or whatever left on your account because you know you're gonna be using around a minute time Sort of a minute, maybe two minutes time on loading up the game. But apart from that, that's that's all. You don't need to use anything else. So when you're on this screen, you can see my YouTube, my YouTube, sorry, my ultimate team, the journey, all the game modes are here, guys. What you're gonna want to do, press the middle button on Xbox, head over down to your settings, all settings. I can't actually show my network settings because it'll give away obviously my router and my like internet details and my IP. So I'm not gonna show you guys that, but I'll zoom in on where you need to go. So scroll down to network, click on network settings, which is right here, guys. And I can't show you this bit, obviously, because it's my personal network settings. I'll show you the four options that will be on your side. You're just going to want to click go offline, guys. And what this does is it turns the Xbox internet off. And then you can see the two options here, forget wireless network and go online. The reason you do this, guys, is because EA cannot track your EA access hours when you are offline because it goes through EA Access, which is an online service. You see what I mean, guys? You're starting to get the picture. This is the method, guys, I found out by myself. I haven't seen anyone else talk about this, but hey, guys, this is crazy. So now you're gonna wanna back out and then quickly spam out of it. And as you can see, guys, I don't know if you guys saw that, but look, if I pause now, it'll say like you have to be online for game trials but what you gotta keep doing guys you keep spamming close and keep just spamming on the game as you can see it'll glitch out really weird and then look at that guys as you can see we're gonna go and as you can see guys we'll pause it we're good now the thing is with this glitch guys it will keep coming up that you are offline and you can only play game trials online but as you can see guys if you keep sort of spamming going on to the game and coming off of the game it will actually let you into the game look and I've been in the game for about a solid minute now guys uh, and it's occasionally maybe around every 10-15 minutes it might say oh you need to be online but you just keep spamming A and it will take you straight back onto the game I found this out guys so all credit for this one not the next one just this one goes to me look 
We are literally offline. There is nothing else. You saw my profiles there, but I don't care. Uh, we're offline. We can't reach our messages or anything. But look, we're on the full game. We can't play foot, but you can play the journey. You can play career, kickoff, tournament, skill games. And I'm so happy I found this, guys. I was buzzing when I found this. So then you can like go online after you've played the journey and start playing some Ultimate Team. Now, the reason I've actually shown you this, guys, is because basically never waste your EA Access time if you're going to be playing offline. If you're going to be playing the journey or career, do this glitch... What I have just shown you guys, and that's it. You don't need to waste your EA access hours. Now, one thing I do have to say, guys, is I do not condone this method, and I'm not responsible for anything that may or may not happen to your account if you do this. I personally wouldn't recommend doing it, and the reason I'm making this video is to let EA know about these glitches so they can actually work and fix them. Yeah, guys, that's actually how you do the first glitch, and look, you have full access to the game. It is crazy, guys. If you could smash a like for this method alone, it would mean a lot, guys, because I put a lot of effort into trying to find this, because I was up all night yesterday just trying to find some flaws in the system. There you go, guys, and then when you don't want to play it anymore, just quit FIFA, and look, guys, if you try and go on it, it'll just say, for game trials, you need to be online, and it won't work. So that's why this is a really cool method, guys. So for the second method, guys, you actually do need EA Access on another account. And what this method is, is you've got EA Access on one account and you want to transfer your 10 hours over onto your main account. Once again, I don't condone using this, not responsible for anything that happens. You know, don't shoot the messenger, I'm just the guy telling you what to do. And this is all for the purpose of EA being able to ban the glitch and just stop the glitch, if you know what I mean. For the next glitch... It's very simple. All you're going to want to do is go onto a new account. I don't have EA access yet on this. So there we go, guys. I've actually just gone and bought myself EA access on a brand new account. Now, one thing you've got to do, guys, make sure this is the only account signed in. This is going to be your second account, which you want to use the 10 hours on your main account. So say I want to use my hours on XXXJack2, which is my main account. I would use this account to sign in first which is the account of 10 hours on but one thing guys before you do load up fifa what you have to do is add your main account as a friend so as you can see my first account is xxxjack space 2 this is my account you want to add yourself as like a favorite what you're going to want to do now guys is load up fifa 18 because obviously you want your trial you want to be using your hours. You don't need to do anything special at this stage. As you can see, I've just clicked English. You don't need to do anything too special at this stage. Uh, I'm actually going to bring my camera down a little bit. But nevertheless, what you're going to want to do, guys, is head over to Online Friendly Seasons. Now, this is the important part, guys. There's me. It obviously says Offline. But this, guys, you're actually going to need to do pretty quick. So follow what I do very quickly, guys. So you're going to want to invite this, your main account, I suppose, to a game. Send the invite, and once you've sent it, guys, you need to do this quick. You need to go up, sign into your account. There we go, it should hurry up and sign in. Blah, 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 blah. And then go straight back up, guys, and switch back to your second account. And it should say something like that. There you go, six hours on your trial. And then you back out this time, guys. And it should say, you, sh you should still be signed in and everything, guys. And it should say, invite your account, but in this time, it will say like an orange sort of online instead of the offline symbol. So now guys, what you actually do want to see is this obviously yeah, orange online thing. Then you go to invite your sort of main account again. Click invite, send the invite as you would normally as we wait. It should pop up on our screen. There we go. We've had an invite from our second account. You sign into your XXX Jack 2, or, well, yours won't be called XXX Jack 2, but mine is, obviously. You change over your account to that, if you know what I mean. Uh, come on. Yep. Yep, good. Okay, and it should say, this game session is no longer available. That's how you know you've done it right. Then, guys, you are actually on your main account, but using your second account's hours. And this genuinely does work, guys. So right now, I'm actually using my second account's hours on my main account, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, we've got that. Uh, the way you know it's working is, you you know, it'll say your main account's ultimate team name. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's as simple as that. So if you guys do want more tutorials like this, maybe a coin glitch, maybe how to get free FIFA points, something like that, let me know in the comments below. 
any more SBC tutorials. Just tell me what you want to see for FIFA 18. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are going to get some nice EA access hours out of this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.